Hey right, folks, welcome to another episode of Yogi Dave's Hobby Corner. Um, my co-host today is Zachy Boy. Um, today I'm going to talk about Forbidden Island. Um, back in that. So, Forbidden Island. Um, game by uh, Matt Leacock. Uh, it's illustrated by C.P. Kanga. Um, it's released by Game Right. Now, you might have seen, I can't remember whether or not this or the pandemic episode are first and second, but you might have seen pandemic, the unboxing. Um, same guy did this, they did that. I played this, haven't played pandemic yet. Um, so basically, what happens is you get 58 playing cards, 24 island tiles. Ooh. You get six pawns and you get treasure figures in this. Um, I will open it up and show you in a minute. Oops. So in it, you've got your, your rules um, and the Forbidden Desert and uh, the actual um, iPad game. I don't know whether or not you need to get uh, Android version, but That'd be interesting. Um, so basically, in it, you've got your little treasure icons. These are what you're trying to find and, and pick up before the the island sinks and get them off the island. Um, also, essentially, what happens? So these are the cards for the like the characters that you are and the. I haven't opened this version. I'm opening it just now. These are the these are the cards for your characters and the like the So basically I'm trying to remember the rules off the top of my head. So essentially it's uh, flood deck, you get your treasure deck and you get your adventurer deck. So your adventurer cards, not, not your adventurer deck, but your adventure cards, every player gets an adventurer um, at the start of the game. And, you know, you've got a pawn that corresponds to which adventurer there is that you're using. Um, and then as you go through um, the game, you pick up treasure cards, um, at the end of your turn, basically what happens is the flood deck. Um, you draw flood cards. So you draw, after drawing two treasure cards, um, you've got to um, pull from the flood deck. Now what happens is, um, with each of these cards, which is the, the tiles for, for the parts of the island, they've got two um, sides, so they've got the normal side and the flooded side. If it floods again, that disappears. So what you've got to do is ensure that you get all of these, which is the... Um, uh, <coughs> treasures and you've got to get to Flood's Landing um, now in order for you to win you, you can get to Flood's Landing and, and win but you, you may win if Flood's Landing is flooded not if it's disappeared so if Flood's Landing disappears it, you lose the game if this and it's other one because there's two of each so you've got the Highland Gardens on, and the Whispering Gardens on two different parts of them. So if both of them disappear and you don't get this, this is the Manticore statue, you lose the game. You know, um, if Flood Landing goes away before you've got everything, it sinks. If players are on an island tile and there's no adjacent tile to move to, Sinks. Um, if the water level, which is this, which is this, is done, you're done. 
game's over. There's so many ways to lose the game. Um, but it's entertaining. No matter what. No matter what happens, it's an entertaining game. It's a great game. You know, I love playing games like this. Where there's loads of ways to lose, but only one way to win. Um not going to do much of an unboxing of this because it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you've got the, the cards, you've got the tiles, you've got these, got your flood level. So on a novice game, you start at level one and as you pull flood cards, so um, As you so, um, pull water rises cards, the water level rises. Um, so all the car once the water level card is pulled, you take all the discard pile and shuffle them back into the this pile. Um, so um, and once that's done, you get a uh, essentially. I'll open this up. So, in order to get um, to be able to pick up. Um, the treasure so each there's five treasure cards per piece of treasure and in order to be able to pick this up or pick them up yeah you, you need to have four so once you have four you pick up um very like pandemic in that way in that way um Cards are going everywhere. Um, that's why I didn't want to do the pop unboxing really. Um, so, as, as I was saying, you've got the different types of players, and they've all got their own special rules. And on the back, it's got its own, on the back, back each um, card, you have the order play and the actions you can play. So you can play three actions per turn. Um, now, there are ways of stopping like that from going once it's flooded. You can shore it up, which brings it back. Um, there are items that let you shore it up. Um, so. Shuffle the deck. So you get special action cards as well as um, treasure cards and the water rises cards. So, um, so say you um, draw two, 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 right, right away, water rises, which, you know, helpful, not at all. That's the second box rises. <laughs> Obviously, I haven't shuffled them very well. That happens when we don't shuffle them very well sometimes. Um, so I'm just. Ooh. So say you choose to draw two treasure cards. So draw a mana core and I draw a second mana core, which is good because that's you halfway to picking up a mana core. So and um, once you do that. Um, so at level one, once you've drawn um, two treasure cards, you have to do a uh, number of cards from the top of the draw pile. So every turn you do that, you pick up a tre you, you pick up two treasure cards every turn. So every player's turn, 
Um, so once that's done, you do the flood. So at level one, you only do one card. At level two, you do two cards, three, three cards, four, four cards, five, five cards. So what, what the aim of the game is basically to get all four treasures as quickly as possible. Ensure that the um, water doesn't rise as best as you can. Um, and if it does, shoring up the um, the tiles to ensure that they don't go away and don't disappear. It's very difficult. You, I've never seen a game where you've been able to manage it so that nothing gets lost. Um, but, you know, if you like cooperative games, you'll like this game. Um, if you like Pandemic, you'll love this. If you have if you have played um, Forbidden Desert, you'll love this. Because it's basically the same. It's the same mechanics. It's very, very similar. I say the same mechanics. It's very, very similar mechanics in this and Forbidden Desert and um, Pandemic. But the, it's the island desert pandemic. It's the the differences that make it better. Well, not better. The different it's differences that make the difference in each of the games. Um. So, like with everything, at some point I'm going to try and get a game um, videoed, and we can show you how it actually plays in action. Um. So. As you've probably seen in the previous episode with Munchkin Marvel, um, I am now running a coffee account. So that coffee account will be how you enter raffles um, for figures. Now at the moment, the raffle that's running is Captain Calcius, and up till the point that I actually finish them, um, that will be... Um, Two weeks afterwards so uh, if you buy me a coffee between now and then um basically you'll be in it to raffle for calcius now i don't expect a lot of money i really don't um i've set a, a um goal of 150 i think it's 150 quid maybe not 150 dollars um and i don't expect that to happen very quickly i expect it to take months um, but what it will be doing is enable me to get a new mic and a new um, lighting setup in, in the room. So the mic will be a podcast mic, so make the podcast better and let me um, do the videos a bit better, especially this kind of bit. Um, and then once that's done, I'll have another um, goal set and then other goal set, another goal set. Basically, this is to stop me having to look for advertisers and actually advertise and and then go to Patreon um, because I don't like the idea of, oh, here's you know something for nothing. Um, that way, everyone is getting the same stuff. Um, so, yeah. If you go on the podcast website... I'm going to put a link down there, but if you go on the podcast website and support the podcast as well as the YouTube channel by downloading it, make giving comments, you know, same here. If you like this, subscribe, um, like it, comment, and even if you don't like it, comment. I might ignore it if it's you being a dick, but if it's constructive comment, com yeah, comments, I'll take them on. Um, yeah, so I am going to see...